party because yesterday was my three year anniversary from my stroke so I wanted to talk about the stroke um, briefly um, so I was a junior in college I moved out to Tampa and thankfully my mom was a nurse um, if you don't know, I have must go to Spain. And um, I was just finishing a semester and um, I was hanging with my great friend, Alexa, and we were just like so happy to not go to class for a month. And at two o'clock in the morning, I had what I thought was a heart attack, so I'm like, Mom, Mom! My left arm was numb. I was like, it was, it was scary. Like, I'd done procedures, surgeries. It was fucking scary. So we go to the hospital, and it stopped, and I'm like, okay, I'm good. Like, whatever. They checked me, and, um... And they're like, no, you have to, like, um, <laughs> um, you have to, uh, stay for a night. And I was like, no way, I have plans, like, I'm not doing this. And I was like, um, I don't care, you're doing this. And, um, yeah, so I stayed over. It was a usual night. And then the next day, I you know, ate Chinese food with my brother and my best friend and we were just hanging out and, you know, I was getting released on Monday, it was Sunday night, and, um, and then I woke up four days later and um, my aunt flew down to um, Tampa and all I remember was looking at my right and my Aunt Jen was like, you had a stroke. And I was like, where, where am I? Like, what? Like, and I'm like, watching television, it's like December like 20th. I'm like, what, what, what? And like, I couldn't speak. So, I don't know what I was thinking um, about that because I was um, really like fucked up because the medicine was gnarly and um, I had an incubator and it was disastrous to take the incubator out because my muscles are very weak so I had like like a cough and phlegm for ages and um so I was just like out of loop like I just don't know what I was thinking um but I know that it was like a nightmare it was honestly a nightmare and um I went up to a floor and I was so mad but I couldn't speak like I couldn't speak to the doctor or my family or my friends or nothing. Like I was in my, like in my head. Um, thank God for the medicine because like, honestly it was a miracle. So I went, well I stayed in the hospital for 10 days and, um, and I was really like, itching to go home and my mom's like ha, 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 you're going to rehab and I'm like no 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 mm -hmm. so I went to rehab in Tampa another hospital for I think like three weeks um and it was New Year's day that I um got there and I remember like I want to go watch the fireworks in Tampa 
and we were so drained. And my mom's like, I'll put an alarm, blah, blah, blah. And like, we heard the alarm, but we were dead sleep because like, my mom didn't sleep for like a month. I didn't sleep for a month. So that day was hard. And then I pushed and pushed and pushed. I was going to PT, OT, speech, uh, mental, whatever, lessons to how to recover from, uh, from a stroke. And then they were like, okay, you're good, like, blah, blah, blah. You're great, and like, um, I'm not great, like, I'm not speaking where I wanted to be, like, I'm just, like, not thinking, like, where, like, at. And they sent me home, and I had PT and OT at my home, and speech, um, that was good, but it was really isolating, like, I remember in Tampa, like, the Gasparilla is a huge, like, party and parade, and that's, like, my, like, my favorite day, and I, in January, I, like, literally woke up, and it was, like, it was, like, a nightmare, because they were literally blasting music, and, like, I was, like, oh, my God, like, I can't go. Anyway, I... <laughs> got my ass up and I went to my friend's house um, and I was so anxious to talk and I pulled Ryan aside and he was like Courtney you're amazing like don't like don't worry about it like you're here like you literally had a near death experience like And yeah, Orion uh, said to me, don't worry about it. Um, you know, you're here, you're still positive and we're gonna support you. And they did. Um, shout out to my Tampa friends because honestly, it was a journey and I couldn't do it alone. Um, my friends would always come over every day every day and night and talk to me and just fill me in with like the world and going um, to therapy and whatever and I think my friends and family like encouraged me and like I wanted to talk so bad and like they like bought like um, like cards that like um, had like a dress or a purse or just like learning like um objects so that was I mean I was so blessed to have the support um but it was really really depressing honestly um my friends were going to school I mean I literally had like two years like left and I was like, what do I do? Like, I was just like, what the hell happened? Like, a split second, like, my life just collapsed. So, that year was, that year after the stroke was, I think, my terrible year um, because I didn't have any resources or just like models or idols like I was in my own nightmare and that's what I want to make this YouTube channel and share my story because <sighs> music was everything and I think music and books honestly got me here um, but we have platforms that are free and and I wanted to share my story because I know there are future young supporters and survivors and caretakers and I think this video is 
showing me and you to fight on and have resilience and what the doctors told you is not correct. I mean, they told me that I didn't, they didn't have a clue, honestly. And I thought about it and I'm like, nope, you're gonna speak. And here we are, three years later. Damn. Well, I'm having a party. So that was like, um, my recovery, but I'm doing fantastic. I travel um, to California, Hilton Head, Florida, Pennsylvania, the city. I do sporting events. I love hockey. I write. I do speech and therapy and PT and OT and the year the recovery doesn't end um but you have to think about that you're here and and this is you're here and that's a wonderful gift from god because one day you'll never know that you are gonna pass out for four days and have a stroke. So, that's my story. Have a happy holiday and um, have a happy new year. Thanks guys.